Inventory is another thing that's going to come up frequently for us when we're trying to set up new clients or set up somebody's books for the very first time, especially where they've been in the business for a while. And if they're selling inventory, there's a good chance they're going to get us some form of a list, and it may very well be in a PDF format. Bottom line, we need to be able to get that quickly and easily laid out in Excel because once it's there, once again, I can import that easily into my accounting software. So in this lesson, we're going to look at this other very common use case that comes up for accountants and bookkeepers of how to use PDF to Excel to get a PDF version of an inventory list quickly and easily into an Excel flat file so that it can then be imported into our accounting software. Inventory and PDF to Excel. This is another example of a great use case where you can take PDF to Excel way beyond uh, a level where you're just converting bank statements. Uh, converting inventory lists will come in handy a lot, especially if you, if you have clients in industries like e-commerce and whatnot. Bottom line is this. If you come over to Cognivue.com and scroll down, you'll get these case studies with these sample files so you can practice using PDF to Excel, and I strongly encourage you to do this. Because as you'll see in the next lesson, I'm going to talk about how you can take a product like PDF to Excel and use it to create an entirely new stream of revenue. There are lots of companies like those e-commerce companies out there who would tremendously value your ability to take documents like price lists and inventory lists and convert them very quickly. So something to think about. Meanwhile, practice using the tool. The more you practice, the better you get. So we're going to take a look at the inventory case study. I've already downloaded the file. I'm at the one-minute mark. Let's see if I can get this done before the three-minute mark or in less than two minutes. So we're going to right-click, open with PDF to Excel Enterprise. I always suggest getting the Enterprise of the most robust version. I don't like limitations. That's just me. And if you notice, the pages are all the same. So I, I stick with the default setting here, which says all pages same. Let's get that table set. And then we're going to zoom in nice and big. So we can adjust the lines. Okay, let's take care of the header. This can come in a bit. And now we have two different part number columns, so I'm going to click, drag, right click, merge. Click, drag, right click, merge. And then my quantity in stock, click, drag, right click, merge. Now let's resize the columns. Okay, let's check the preview down below, make sure we're getting a good result. Notice I'm not even rushing. I like to, when I see something like this, I like to look at it and how it renders to make sure that it is accurate, number one, and number two. It's a good way to sort of use this as kind of a delimiter to make sure everything's lining up right. So I do like to take the time to do that. Uh, we're almost there. Then I want to take the inventory list title here. As I click and drag, PDF to Excel recognizes it as a field which is indicated by the fact that it's blue. Right click, in conversion, show field once. And then over here, quantity and stock, we're going to highlight this column, right click, and column format output number. And we're ready to convert exactly three minutes. Which means I got it done in exactly two. And boom, here we are. I can get rid of my extra line. I can move that over. Let's uh, scroll down, make sure we got everything. Everything looks good. So my friends, in under two minutes, I got 400 line items converted into Excel. And of course, from here, it'll be really easy to upload things exactly the way I need to. Um, and I can restructure that formatting. It had four decimal places. So here we are, my friends. Uh, PDF to Excel, very, very powerful tool here for converting all kinds of documents, not just bank statements. Uh, make sure you practice with it and get used to it. Make sure you go to the site, do the case, the, do all four case studies. I just gave you one. Try all four and make sure that you can, you know, make sure that you get good at using PDF to Excel. The more you practice, the better you get. And like I'm about to show you in the next lesson, then you'll be able to build a whole new stream of revenue just based on being able to convert documents for clients. That is it, my friends. I hope you're having an absolutely fantastic day. And I look forward to seeing you in the next lesson. Now that we've seen several different use cases for how PDF to Excel can take a process that would otherwise take hours to complete, 
and condense it into just a short period of time. And especially as we go forward, because as I pointed out, once we get a layout done, we can save that layout, we can export it and provide it to others so that they can use it, so that they don't have to reinvent the wheel. Bottom line is we can create tremendous efficiencies in our process with respect to how we're able to get data easily exported from a PDF to Excel and then use that for our accounting software. We're going to see next in the following and last lesson for this course how that plays into our whole value pricing model and how we can tremendously increase our profitability based on the fact that we can take what otherwise would have taken many hours and get it done in perhaps just minutes.